field of nine runners. Flandreau's up from behind, 1,400 metres to race. And uh, away they go in the last race of the afternoon. Starters caught them in a pretty good line, but Light the Clappers was the first one to respond with Slurricane. Those two battled out, out in front to try and dictate the early pace. Two lanes back and running to Paper Trails during a race along the inside rail in third. Then comes Veronique, who's racing away in fourth, followed by Air of Royalty. Further length back and running, we drove to Raising Quinn, who's on the outside of runners. Then comes Major Winter, and towards the back end of the field is Rock on Tommy, who's won from last, and Captive Moon is last of all. So strung out field, about 10 lengths separating first to last, as they're about to take the Andalin with just over 700 metres left to go. Out in front is Light the Clappers, now has the length and a half to spare over Slurricane in second. Further back in running, we go to Paper Trail in third, followed by Veronique on the outside in fourth. Then comes Air of Royalty, who's on the inside rail. Raising Quinn looks to go and improve on the outside of runners, followed by Major Winter. Rock on Tommy, one from last, and Captive Moon is last of all as they straighten up with the run for the judge in the last race of the afternoon. And Light the Clappers, going to try and go barrier to bot, still well held at the moment. Getting challenged on the outside by Slurricane, who's starting to creep a little bit closer. Closer. Along the inside rail, we drop Paper Trail, deeper out to Raising Quinn with Veronique as they're into the final 200 meters. Slurricane now challenges Light the Clappers and goes past him with ease. It's Slurricane out in front. Light the Clappers trying to fight back, but Slurricane with a convincing turn of foot now goes clear into the closing stages. Paper Trail with Light the Clappers, Raising Quinn on the outside, but Slurricane gears down to win into the closing stages. Got close between Paper Trail and Light the Clappers into that second placing. Further back and running to Captive Moon, then came Air of Royalty. The winner of the last race of the afternoon, the green and white salts down the center of the picture at the moment, moves past Light the Clappers with ease and is actually quite a convincing win. Shows a devastating turn of foot into the closing stages. The son of Verse and Getrich and uh, bred out at Claverflay Stud Farm, also owned by Mr. Van der Merwe. So a big congratulations to the winning connections of number two Slurricane, a convincing winner in the last race of the afternoon here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth Racecourse. Race nine, the Hollywood Bets Bright Future Class Five over the 1400 meters. Won by number two, Slurricane, son of Ursin Getrix. Well done to Al Jevu. He receives the thousand rand thanks to Hollywood Bets and uh, Cape Racing. Anthony Andrews makes it a double. Anthony, well done. Thank you very much, Vicky. Did the race pan out to how you were expecting or unfold how you expected? Yeah, you know, he actually like kind of came out the gates a bit sluggish and then he took the bridle and I was opting to go to the front or to try and get a bit of cover. Um, but it all worked out that I got a bit of cover and try to save him, you know, he's been off for a while, so try to save him till the last bit and he really picked it up with me early and I sort of don't want to hit the front too soon, but he fought all the way to the line, so a courageous win. And with regards to obviously coming off a little bit of a rest, did he feel good? He felt amazing. I thought he, he looked a bit big in the ring and, you know, he, he put up a great work the other day, but it wasn't world beating work, but Dal says he does that at home but uh, he brings the, the, the A-game to the racetrack, which is where you want it. Anthony, well done on a, on a good day. Thank you very much. Just want to say a huge thanks to the whole Marshall stable, to Adal, to everybody. Thanks for the support. They've been, I've been running a bit of work for them, and they're trying to throw me as many bones as possible. So big thanks to them. Well done. Thank you. That's Anthony Andrews, jockey aboard uh, Slurry Cane. Adal, a very um, sort of up and down day for you, but well done for the win. Thanks very much, Vicky. At least we ended off on a good note. <laughs> With regards to this horse, some good form and, uh, you know, he's clearly a horse with a bit of ability. Yes, you know, Anthony, he, was a, he said his work was a little bit lacklustre, but he's not a great track horse. And he said he'd maybe get a bit tired today. I said, no, he won't get tired, don't worry. Just have him in touch and he'll fight to the line. Um, he won a nice race last time and he's won a nice race again today. Just thanks to Vili for the support and to Cloverfly. And well done to you, Adele. Thanks, Vicky. There you go. That's uh, Adele Alsop uh, from the Bourne Marshall Yard. Well done to them for the win. Number two, Slurry Kane, son of Ursin Getrix. Adele mentioned Clover Flay Stud and also Mr. Van der Mav for the win. Anthony Andrews making it a, du a double, rounding the day off uh, on a great note to race nine. Number two, Slurry Kane, your winner. Thank you very much for joining us for a fantastic day. See you soon.